Hi, so I'm going to go through the lab here. And um, this is the lab to compare data with the hash. So I have a text file. And I've already saved it. Um, it's the instructions were to save to your desktop. I just created a folder just to kind of keep it separate. So it's a desktop and it's in a folder named Cyber 1100. And I saved it as the um, as instructions stated, um, hash. And I left it as a .txt file. Um, let's see. So the next part was to go to that website. And it was Slava. Yeah. And then you click this one and download. And I've already done that. Um, I haven't installed it though, so I've got to find it. And you we're going to go through the steps to set it up. Yes. <coughs> So, yeah, I'm gonna leave it right there. Okay. And just wanted to have a desktop icon, which means it will show here on the desktop is what it means. You can do quick access. I don't know if you if you need to or not, but if you do the quick access icon or quick launch icon, that means it would show down here. I'm just gonna leave it so it'll show on desktop and hit install and we're going to it's going to have a readme file and we're going to go ahead and launch it so that's fine let's go ahead and finish it and what's next on the instructions so we're going to compare data with a hash so click finish in the last screen and close the readme file if it open which it did and we need the file feed okay so it's, okay, it's installed. So calculate the hash of the hash.txt file that we created earlier. So set the following items in hash calc. Data format is file. Okay, we're leaving that alone. And data. So we're going to click right there and what does it say? Now we get to the desktop. So I'm going to click on that drop down, go to my desktop, and I've created a folder. So it's in this folder. Hit open, uncheck something uncheck hmac okay it's not checked uncheck all hash types except md5 so leaving that checked unchecking that unchecking that unchecking that make a change to the hash.txt file so i'm going to go to the desktop i'm going to go ahead and close this and then i'm going to go to my desktop and open the hash.txt file, which is under cyber1100. Hash text, make a minor Thank change. You, okay, <coughs> so I'm just writing the word minor change. Okay. Um, this is such a deleting, so this one's a very small change. So I'm just gonna put M. You can do control S to save it or file save and then close it and then calculate a new hash of the hash.txt file so click the calculate button and hash calc again okay oh i missed a step shit okay let's open this Okay, so I have a file. That's what it looks like right now. Okay, and when I do the calculator, this is what comes up. Now let's add something else. Let's add some more letters. File. 
save. I'm just gonna copy this and another one, just so you can see the difference. Okay. So this is the MD5 when I just had the letter M. So now that I've changed this hash file to the word minor, I'm going to hit calculate. And you can see it changed. So the value is different, which is what it says. Place a check mark next to all the hash types. I said check marks all the this is all the hash types. Click calculate. Okay. Notice that many of the hash types create a hash of a different length. Okay, and the question is why. So We'll talk about that more, but once you finish this, once you finish this step, what you can do is, let's see, I have word on here. So to take a screenshot, you can, um, if you, mine is in the quick launch area, um, but if you don't have it yet, you can go to the search, type in the search. If depending on what operating system you have, you may need to click on that. But for what I have, I'm doing this and start typing SNI. And you can see an app called a snipping tool. Open that up and it'll pop up and I would recommend going ahead and pinning this to this launch area so to pin it you can right click and then or, and then mine says unpin but you would just hit pin to taskbar and it'll be there for you so to use this you would click new and you would select the area of that calculator Copy it, open up into Word. File. Nope, that's not what I want. Paste it. Okay. So that's how you do a screenshot. Um, and then you would save it, and then you would upload um, all the screenshots from Chapter One, all the for the labs, into Netacad. So that's how you can um, navigate through the first lab and um, take screenshots and upload it into Netacad.